Colonoscopy is a very effective cancer prevention test. It's one of the few things we can do in medicine where not only can we find cancer, but we can prevent it. We do that through removing polyps, which are small precancerous growths. And when we remove those, we not only stop that polyp in its tracks and reduce the risk of cancer from there, but then we can tell if people are higher risk for future polyps and watch them more closely. It's very gratifying to be able to remove polyps and reduce someone's risk of colon cancer. This goes for sporadic cancers, which are something that would occur in the average risk population, and that's why we recommend everyone should get a colonoscopy at 50, but also very effective in, in people at increased risk, including hereditary cancer syndromes or a family history of colon cancer. Colonoscopy is something that can be intimidating the first time a patient undergoes it. However, you know, it is something that we've improved over time. Patients are very comfortable for the procedure and the prep, which is what most patients hear war stories about from other um, patients or family members, uh, is, is much better tolerated at this point. We now reduce the volume and split it into two different sessions. When we bring you in for a colonoscopy, you'll generally be sedated and be very comfortable. And then as we're looking at the colon, we can find polyps. When we find these polyps, which are you know small, gross, we can remove them either by different methods, including what we call a snare or a lasso type method, or biopsies, which is uh, a forceps type method. This is painless for the patient, a very low risk procedure, and we know it's beneficial to reduce the risk of cancer in the rest of your lifetime. <laughs>